Thousands of Australian Hazaras have demonstrated across the country in protest at a wave of attacks on their people in Afghanistan. The protesters say the attacks are being carried out by Kuchis or nomadic people with the support of the Taliban. In Sydney, protesters rallied through the streets. According to the demonstrators, Hazaras in Afghanistan are being stripped of their basic rights as Kuchis graze their flocks on their harvest land and destroy their livelihoods, giving them no other option but to leave. Predominantly Shia Muslims in an overwhelming Sunni Muslim country, they have formed one of the largest refugee communities in Australia, with more than 19,000 now living here. Ethnically, they have links to the Mongols and to the builders of the famous Buddhas of Bamiyan, which were destroyed by the Taliban who persecuted them because of their religious affiliations. In Melbourne, a large rally outside the State Library heard claims of ethnic cleansing. Mirza Elizada fled his homeland 10 years ago and says his village in central Afghanistan has been destroyed by the Kuchis and family and friends he left behind forced out. They all now live in Kabul. They live, some of them live in a mosque, some of them live with the family, friends. They left their house, they left their village, they left their whatever they had, like an animal as a cows or sheep or whatever they had. They left everything. The demonstrators say the attacks have the backing of the Taliban and the Karzai government has failed to protect their people. They also say the international community could do more. It is happening under the nose of the coalition uh, forces in uh, Afghanistan. They, should, they can do more uh, about this, uh, this matter. Australian Hazaras say unless something is done, what they call the systematic genocide of Hazaras will continue. Protests similar to today's have been progressively held around the world and the Hazaras say they'll continue to demonstrate to bring their plight to the attention of the international community. Protests were also held today in Brisbane, Canberra and Perth. Melinda Ogden, World News Australia.